Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, we're going to start a new appearance by The Warning from October of 2022. That's right, we're going to look at Dia de Muertos, a title rising appearance. I don't have much more information than that. However, I do know that they played 10 songs that day. And, as you might guess, it was close to Halloween, and they took full advantage of that. All right. I've only seen a still shot, so uh, (laughs) I'm just going to say, you might want to take a look at how everybody has prepared themselves for this event or this appearance. Mm -hmm. So, Adrian, can I assume you haven't seen this before? I haven't seen it yet. Okay. They do call it Dia de Muertos. We shall see how it comes off. Let's let's take a look. You don't really want to be like me. I've got the tension of the incomplete. You don't really want to understand what it's like to have one on your head. You kind of tell it was done around Halloween because of all the spooky makeup and everything they had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty good makeup, actually. It was, yeah. It was right yeah. between 
horror and I don't know, impish or something. I, I mean, it was uh, it had its own personality, you know, like, oh, it, yeah, it was scary, but it wasn't too scary. Yeah, I love it. I think they all had red hair or dark red hair. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know if there's there's blood involved there or, or what that is. But yeah, yeah. I loved all the eye makeup and the stuff along the, you know, looks like they had fun putting that together. <laughs> it does. It does add an element of fun to the set, I must say. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not too frightening. Let's put it that way. But it, <laughs> but it's entertaining. It's very cool. So nice job on that. Um, yeah, yeah. This is looking like a fun one. So with that, since I've looked ahead and there's ten songs on this gig, and I think we're gonna look at the whole thing. That was song number three. It only makes sense to do song number four right now. So that's dust to dust. So we're gonna proceed right along to that one, <laughs> if you don't mind, Adrian. I don't mind it at all. It's one of my favorite songs from them, Just to Us. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Go, Allie. I'm noticing with this performance that you can really hear, for example, Pow's bass drum. It's coming through loud and clear in ways that it rarely does. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And I yeah. love it. 
it's also a lot drier than um, than many of their performances have been. In other words, there's a lot less reverberation. Maybe part of that is that they're in a small space and presumably there's no audience. Doesn't look like there is. So um, so that would lend itself to being drier by itself. But so for that reason, we can hear things. You know, it's interesting wherever they are. We we hear things a little differently, and so we can get mm-hmm. other clues about the performance that maybe we didn't have before. Like for example, on this, I'm noticing with Pow's bass drum, she does a whole lot more bass drum in Dust to Dust than I realized. There's a lot of it. That's the first time I've heard that song so many so many times now, and that's the first time I've heard just how much she's beating on that bass drum, especially mm-hmm. towards the end. So awesome, awesome. Yeah. I really like the costuming and the makeup and all that. It's 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 cool. Like I say, it's not particularly scary, but it's it's nice. It's apropos. It's it's fun. You know, they go for fun every so often. We know that's how they've called their new album. Keep me fed. It's fun, and this is definitely one of those fun situations. You know, yeah. but they are singing about murder and you know whatever else. So <laughs> as usual, so it's all, <laughs> it works works perfect for Halloween. So. Yeah. Excellent job on that, uh, I would say, and I look forward to listening to the other eight songs on this. We may double back. I know that the first two songs are Z and Choke, which I know we've heard, uh, I think, a couple of times in recent memory, so I thought I'd wait and start on a couple of songs that we haven't heard that much in the last couple of weeks. Those two both are, you know, they've, they've been on the bench for a little bit, so it's nice to hear them here. So, all right, folks. So, if any of you have any extra information about this appearance on Title Rising, or if it's just called Title, I mean, there must be a Title Rising show, right? Because I know there was another one that featured them and interviewed them, and that was a half hour show. But this is clearly something else. So, if you have info on it, please let us know about it. It'd be interesting to find out. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, and I hope you join us on the next one. All right, take care, folks. See you all later.